It's our first launch title ever. I mean, we've been on virtually every PlayStation platform and it's been a tremendous ride. I mean, ever we made it, when we made the decision uh, three years ago, uh, it's been a crazy, hectic time. We've started at the announce event. This is Killzone Shadowfall. Live gameplay on stage. Uh, and now we're here closing it up and shipping the game. And it's just, it's phenomenal. When we first were dealing with the specs, kind of going, okay, so so what are we going to do with this? Where, where are we heading? What what will constitute kind of a next-gen game? And the thing that we immediately gravitated towards is, is resolution. That's the first thing people will notice. I mean, the first thing people will see is just this crisper fidelity, and it's the thing that stands out immediately. Once you start playing in that fidelity and at that frame rate, and with that level of detail in, in the textures, with that level of dynamism in, in kind of the levels, the draw distance, we just really wanted to have that. What we really wanted to do is give the player more control. It should be the player who's driving the story forward. It should be the player deciding when to go into action. And uh, so big decisions that we made is make sure the story is told from a first person perspective, make sure all of the gameplay is all kind of actioned by you. So that meant a buddy that you could control. And that kind of introduced the owl gameplay where we said, okay, you have this personalized attack drone, you can set it into different modes and you get to call the shots. We were looking at kind of different ways to kind of control the owl. Uh, but then the controller showed up with his touchpad and we kind of felt, this, this, this could work. This is really nice. It, it feels intuitive, it's very responsive, it's very fast. So we gravitated towards that one and it's, it's been with, our, with us ever since. It was Vecton treachery and aggression that led to the slaughter of a million Hellcast lives. Multiplayer is really important that you get the nuances right it's a game that people are going to play over and over and over. So we said we want the player to be in control, we want to empower the player to make the choices and say this is how I want to enjoy the game. So who are we to say, oh no, 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 that's not what the game's about, we don't want you to play that. If that's what they want to create and that's what they, they enjoy playing, let them make that. And that's really where kind of the, the custom war zones came from as well, where we, we give them all of these options, all of these maps, and we make sure that we, we stay on kind of the community and on to the game after launch. We've got a whole team back home uh, that's dedicated to post-launch support. They're going to not only be creating content, uh, we've got all of the multiplayer maps and they're going to be free of charge. Everybody can download them. We didn't want to split up the community and we really wanted to give something back and say, guys, here you go, enjoy. You got 10 maps on the disc, but we're going to continue to make maps. So there's every time you log into Killzone, there's something new to play for. I mean, that, that's the cool thing. We're going to see how, the, how people respond to the game and what we want to do next. And there's loads of ideas floating around. Thank you.